What's up, everybody? The doctor is in. Michael Prati joining you online again on this beautiful day. And today I have another good match for you. I have Ghost Cyclops Goichi on the player two side facing off against Suro on player one side. Uh, Goichi once again defending his title of best defense in Dragon Ball Fighters. So let's just hop right into the game and we'll start talking about the teams. Right off the bat, we can see that Goichi is still experimenting with his team. You know, now bringing in the Frieza, which is not something we've been seeing from him. He's still trying to uh, find this third character locked in. Uh, and right now, he's just getting pounded upon. Um, Suro running with a uh, Android 16 point, which is different uh, than we've been seeing a lot lately. Uh, back when 16 was very popular and very strong, we saw it a bit more, but he did eat some nerfs in the subsequent uh, patch notes, and so we've seen him more as like an anchor or a mid. Level 3 is going to cause the mix-up. 16 has a really good mix-up setup because his level 3 does bring you out of the corner. Um, going to get that command grab and is just unrelenting in his pressure on Goichi. Wow. Actually caught that raw tag. Not going to go for the snap, though. Another interesting thing we see on Suro's team is uh, Goku Black Anchor. Uh, it's Goku Black. People call him figured out, so we don't see him a ton. Uh, but he is going to be coming in at some point this match. Guichi going to get the opener. And we should maybe see the end of Android 16 here. Does have three full bars. Here comes the peace sign into Bardock. And that, yep, that is going to be enough. Oh, that's unfortunate. The magic pixel into the sparking means that 16 is going to survive for quite a bit longer. Woo! Good catch there on that 2H. Now sparking has expired for Suro. Health aid's still on his side, but now that he gets caught by this once again, I think this should truly be the end of Android 16. Dragon Rush to finish it. That is going to be the first blood taken by Goichi. Good reflect there, but it wasn't... It didn't knock the Gotenks back, so he was able to just get in there. And start that combo. Ghost coming out a bit late. Yep, there it is. The, uh, the Vanish is going to get out of it completely. Good delay on that Super Dash. With five bars a meter, I'm surprised he didn't go for the level three. But here it is. I guess those ghosts do enough obscuring that he doesn't need the level three. Just going to get down, finish off the Bardock. Only needing one bar there, too. And I don't know if he spammed the assists trying to get a different level one out, or if he was trying to just get the extra damage in there. Now that jump over instant air dash back that we've seen from Gucci, we saw it a lot in the match I commentated yesterday as well, uh, where he's able to just look like he's hopping over, gets that dash back, and then just opens him up with the, uh, the Gotenks' light attack. Good break there, keeping the defense alive. Unfortunate raw tag there means Bardock is going to go down. Suro was definitely looking for some sort of aerial attack there, and the raw tag was just possibly the worst uh, you know, situation for Guichi to be in. Ghosts into the Frieza level 1. Does get a second level one, and that is all it's gonna be. That is game one quickly going over to Guichi. A half-hearted effort will result in a quick death. So I definitely want to see more of this Frieza from Guichi. Um, you know, we didn't really see any of him actually playing the Frieza in that match. Uh, mainly relying on the assist and the DHC there to get the kill on the, the black there. But 
with Goichi, you know, trading out all of these different characters, the, you know, one constant that we've been seeing is the uh, Gotenks and the Bardock. So with him to be switching out to these third anchor characters so often, I'm wondering if he actually can play them to a similar level. Gets caught on the guard cancel. This is something we've been seeing from Goichi a lot as well. He's able to really kind of time it, and he gets him with the 2H almost every single time, too. So it's almost like he's expecting it, you know, trying to get that frame trap in, bait them into that guard cancel that he can get the huge punish, like, right here. And that's going to be a quick end to Android 16. And with two basic, or three basically full health characters still on Goichi's side, Suro is once again in a deficit that he really has to work his way out of. Goichi wanting to play it safe, almost baiting for that 2H. He gets hit by one himself, however. The first level 3 of the series that we're going to see. Soros does the jump in, instant air dash late. Does get reflected, though. Nice air to air there. Ooh. The Lariat there coming out, keeping Suro safe for a second. Tried to go for the Dragon Rush there, might have been a missed input because he then did get hit right in the noggin for it. Guard Cancer gonna get Suro out safely. 2H gonna whiff, which means he's just gonna get opened up. With five bars a meter, I have to expect a level three. Nope. Goich is really relying on these ghosts. Uh, a lot more than I would have expected. Dragon Rush not going to connect once again. That assist, however, does. This could be the end of Suro's Black, which will put him in a two-character deficit. Can he finish it this time? He dropped it last time. No drop this time. And that is Guichi closing out Suro's Goku Black. The Bardock versus Bardock. Level 3 going to hit Frieza, but that's not the target you wanted to connect. Big punish here off of it. This is how you land a level 3, says Guichi. Up and over. Sparking Blast coming out. Good empty vanish there. Gets the opener. Four bars a meter. Gonna use it. So will Goichi spark? I think he'll spark. He want, he likes keeping the Bardock alive, and he doesn't want to play that mix-up mix game. I was wrong, however. He's just going to go for the raw tag after blocking. Gets Bardock out. Wants to save that sparking blast. There it goes. Sparking about to end. There it is for Suro. No more. Should be able to get two level ones out of Frieza. Yep, there's the second one. And that is all it takes, actually. That was a lot of damage coming out of that air level one from Frieza. So once again, we see Frieza for a split second at the end, just to get the W. Heading into game three, we do see character changes coming out of Suro. He drops... Uh, he dropped Goku Black and 16, going for and or Adult Gohan and Android 21. We'll have to see if it, you know, correlates to a bit better gameplay. And right off the bat, it's not looking good. Half HP already missing from the Adult Gohan. And way on the defensive now, he just gets open up. It's going to be one bar of meter available for Goichi. And that might... He's just going to set up the... Yeah, he was setting up the mix-up with the Ghosts. Forces the Sparking Blast out of Suro, though. Raw Tag gonna get Bardock in. Keeps the Gotenk safe. Good 2-H there. Puts Suro on the offensive. Doesn't have a power-up yet for Gohan, though. So he isn't able to get the sliding knockdown there. That was a great tech from Goichi into the uh, Lariat to get the offensive. 
It's Soro's turn now. He timed that purposely to get the uh, hit in. No level 3, which means he's not going to be able to get the mix-up. Thought he had enough to end it, but the tag is going to come in. Gotenks back on the field. The, this ghost setup has been working countless times for Goichi. Bit of a missed time on that assist. Sora really tried to use those assists to cover his escape to try and get out of that corner there. Unfortunately, he got caught by the low and just got blown up by Gotenks there. Android 21, another character that we've seen varied amounts of, you know, most notably Neffin, Leffen trying to make her work. Unfortunately, it's just not working for either of them, Soro or Leffen. This Android 21 just getting bopped. Ghost set up once again. Does it go high? Doesn't matter. It just gets blown up by the ghost. Woo! Now remember, no sparking, sparking blast available, which means that this Android's 21 health pool is not coming back. Now it's a 1v3 adult Gohan, still level 0, with no sparking blast available. This does not look good for Sura. This might be Goichi just finishing it up. Four bars a meter. not gonna kill just yet. Alad, it's gonna kill. So, what a quick 3-0 coming in from Guichi with that Frieza. Once again, he has been changing up all the different characters. Uh, he has been changing up all the different characters, and so we're not quite seeing the end of Guichi just yet. But thank you everybody who tuned in. This was my third fighting game test uh, cast. So if you have any, uh, if you have any suggestions or anything like that, definitely let me know down in the comments or hit me up on Twitter. And once again, thank you everybody who tuned in. Bye bye.